How did you possibly pull off in one year Jurassic Park and Schindler's List? That seems like, I, I don't, how do you reconcile keeping both of those in your head at the same time? I had developed Schindler's List for over 10 years before I made it. I got the, uh, Sid Sheinberg had found the book and sent me the book in 1982. He sent me the book the, the weekend E.T. was released. Mm -hmm. He'd read a review in the New York Times book review section. And he said, sir, as he would characteristically say to his friend, sir, I think this would make an excellent movie. You should read the, the review. And he sent me the review. And then he sent me the book the next day. And it took me 10 years to work up the nerve to, because there was such responsibility in telling that story. Yeah. Um, uh, but at the same time, I had been developing a, uh, the script with Stephen Zalian. There were several writers on before, one writer on before Stephen. And then um, Steve, Steve did a terrific draft, and we were developing the draft, but I hadn't read the, the script yet. Steve and I had gone to Poland together. We went to Krakow. We went to all the actual sites of the Holocaust there. But I was immediately making making uh, Jurassic Park. And I, was, I had just finished shooting and I had cut the film together when Steve Zalian finally finished his draft and he gave it to me to read. And I read it with my wife. We, we passed pages to each other. Mm. And I knew when we got to page 167 that I had to make the movie now. I had to make the movie because I didn't want to miss the winter in, in Poland. I didn't want to have to wait a whole year mm -hmm. because they had to be shot in the snow. And so I basically called the producer, my, my co-producer, on Jurassic Kathy Kennedy, and I said, I gotta, I gotta jump ship. I gotta make Schindler's List. And don't ask me why, I just have to make it right now. How far along were you in Jurassic Park? I had, I had edited the whole film, and all that was left was mixing and color correction and sound effects editing. That was left. And so Kathy took over the production, and I asked George Lucas if he would supervise the the dub, and George came in and dubbed the picture for me. It's <laughs> nice to have George Lucas as a, as a friend at that as moment. A, as a best friend always.